Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, the Nokia Lumia 635 review. So let's get to it. Now, modern smartphones today have a full price of $129 up to $850. If you want to spend just $100, then the Nokia 635 should be near the top of your list, as it offers more than $100 worth of value. With Cortana, hair maps, and a free SkyDrive storage, it's pretty easy to quickly justify the $100 price. Not to mention that you get a fully functional smartphone with access to hundreds of thousands of apps and easy multiple account synchronization. The Nokia Lumia 635 makes a great backup phone for those who also might purchase a high-end expensive smartphone. Okay, so what makes the Lumia 635 so special? So let's get down to the specs in the review. Uh, right now the Lumia has about a 4.5 display size. The resolution is, you know, it's a beginning resolution. It's not 720 or 1080p, but it's actually 854 by 480, I believe. Uh, the camera, uh, it comes with a 5 megapixel camera sensor. Uh, it, it's the processor. Now, the processor is pretty interesting with the Windows Phone. It comes with a Snapdragon 400 processor, quad core 1.2 gigahertz. Um, and then. If you guys are uh, wondering about the measurements, now the measurements, the height wise is about uh, 129.5 meters. The width is only 66.7 meters. And the thickness is actually a whopping 9.2 meters, which I'm kind of surprised. This, this, <laughs> the thickness is kind of different from the other smartphones in the market. The weight size is only 134 grams of weight. Uh, aspect ratio is 16 by 9, which is pretty interesting. Uh, pixel density of the phone is about 221, so that's that's not that bad. Memory is kind of surprising, even though it, it has like a huge responsive. The responsive of this phone is amazing, and I'm kind of surprised that the RAM is only 512 megabytes. Now, storage size by default it comes with 8 gigs of storage. But you're able to expand it to 128 gigs with a micro SD. Uh, again, it comes with Windows 8.1 with Lumia Scion, which is actually in the new operating system that Microsoft had pushed out to the Microsoft phones. Uh, it comes with Cortana, which is a huge uh, competition or competitor for Siri for iPhones as well as Android, Google Now. And the battery capacity for this is amazing. Uh, I did a full charge when I first got it and it's been a full charge for the past four days But again, I haven't been using it, but the battery capacity is actually 1830 mega amps and The volume the only thing I don't like about the phone is that the volume uh, position is in the odd location I'm so used to pressing up here to turn it off and Because the volume is right there I gotta kind of get used to like the power button is in the middle of the phone. So that's, I don't know, I, I, I don't like that a lot. Other than that, the phone is great for a basic phone, for a starting phone. Operating system, very responsive and your multitasking or playing video games is great. Camera, be honest with you guys, the camera kind of sucks. Uh, even though it's a 5 megapixel camera sensor in, inside the, uh, the phone, it doesn't uh, give you those clear, crispy uh, photos that you're so used to with the iPhone or a uh, LG G3 or a Galaxy. Uh, but again, this is a very low price phone. I think AT&T sells it for a known contract, $100. If you're a T-Mobile uh, person, I think you get it for $129. Again, no contract. But uh, that's it, guys. This is the review of the Nokia Lumia 635. Uh, a lot of pros, a lot of cons, but I kind of like it for the first phone. If you guys are looking for a cheap phone to get yourself used to uh, the smartphone world, this is the phone for you to get. Again, it's Windows, so if you have a Windows machine at home, it's great for you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, leave it at the bottom of the comment section. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace out.